Natalie Hoover. I'm also a voice actor, and I will be your host today. We have some questions from fans uh, for these lovely people on this panel. Today we have Afia, Micah, Damon, and Alejandro. Uh, Alejandro! <laughs> Alejandro said. Thank you for coming out today on the weekend. We hope you're enjoying your day. Uh, let's see. For the first question we have for the panelists, voice actors, is why did you want to get into the voice acting industry? Oh, all right. These are legit right. questions. Hard hitting questions. Um, I wanted to get into the voice acting industry because nothing else was as satisfying. Like, I used to be an animation major mm -hmm. and I didn't have fun with it. And for me, as ridiculous as it may sound, like, I know people have to pay their bills, but for me, if the job isn't fun for me, then I won't do it. Yeah. So, like, animation after a year, I was like, it, it wasn't satisfying. So, but with voice acting, every time, no matter how big or small the role is, like, if I just go in to die, mm -hmm. then it's still satisfying and fun. It's refreshing each time. Mm -hmm. So that's why I do. What's up? What have you guys done? Oh, yeah, what have you done? Oh! I'm Alejandro Sop. Tell me what you've done. I've voiced in uh, Nambika as Uno, uh, Igarashi in Kiss Him Not Me, um, uh, Leonhard von Gonsreich in The Royal Tudor, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, Junichi Hashiba, My First Girlfriend is a Gal, and Tamatsu Denkiga and Akira Strip. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Hey guys, it's uh, Dana Mills. Hi. 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 Oh, oh my. Um, you can hear me in things such as Namaka as Jugo, um, Dragon Ball Super as Monaka, um, Mobile Suit Gundam as Isaac Jewel, um, Yuri on Ice as Yakov Piltzman. Oh, I have a story to tell you. <laughs> Sheep. Oh, sheep. Oh, sheep. So soft. So soft. So fluff. Hi, everyone. Feel free to, you can sit down. We don't, we don't bite. There's we seats kick. if you like to sit. Yeah. We kick and we scream, but we don't bite. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's okay. It's 2017, almost 2018. Yeah. It should be expected. Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Micah. Hi, Micah. I didn't even have to force you to do that. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, you may have heard me in a show. Has anyone seen a show called Soul Eater by any chance? Yeah. Cool, I'm not in it. Um, I'm kidding. I voice Soul and Soul Eater. Uh, I'm Yuri Plasetsky in Yuri on Ice, the Angry Russian. Um, Yuichiro in Seraph of the End. Uh, Yukine in Nor. I play a lot of Yus. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Because you are. You. You. Oh, get, ah. Yeah. Um, I also voice uh, anyone interested in Black Clover. It's a new series. It's going to be airing on Toonami uh, tonight. Uh, I voice you know. You know. The more you know. Um, and stuff, things. I, yeah. Oh yeah, I was in the Royal Tutor too. I was the Royal Tutor. <laughs> Believe it. You, you can call me Ayu because that's way easier to pronounce. You as Alice. Yeah, yeah. Alice. Alice. Alice is perfect. Alice. Um, Alice Sandra. Yeah, you can hear me in Assassination okay. Classroom as Nakamura. I also directed the dub for that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I directed the dub for, yeah, what? The Disastrous Life of Psyche K. Yeah. Uh, and Clash of the Elite. Yes. Among other things. Uh, you can hear me in Fairy Tale as Loki. In Gothic as Victory. Uh, there are several others. If anyone games, I play Hat Kid, the main character in A Hat and Tie. And I am in Battle Chef Brigade, which just dropped for the Switch. So you should check that out as well. I play Saskia, Lotta, and Vivian. So listen for me. And follow me on Twitter at SoyNotPlay. Oh yeah. <laughs> No social media reminding me. I should also say I'm in Ruby as the child version of Lyran. Yes. So that's also a thing. Uh, there are several more, but if you follow me on Twitter, it's Soymilk Pudding. I talk about them there. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. 
Cool. It's true. Uh, first question. Yeah, I got too excited. I, I answered the first question. Oh, why uh, did I want to get so into the voice Why did you want to get into the voice acting industry? Oh. Well, I kind of fell into it. I didn't mean to. It was an accident. Like an anime school girl? Like yeah, no, like I fell anime. down and got a couple bruises. Did you have toast in your mouth? Yes. Did it what? Did you have toast in your mouth? Like an anime school yeah. girl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fell down and it was tragic. Um, no, I, um, I got into it because I started, um, just trying to do voices for fun and just when I was in high school and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was like, why not? This is cool, right? And then people were like, you can, you can like make a job of this and like do this professionally. And I was like, why? Well, <laughs> so I don't mind love, right? So um, yeah, I started uh, pursuing this professionally and I just have fun doing it every single day of my life. And it's great. Yeah, every, every single day. Every single day. Yes. Every day. The day every of the day. Lord. There's no rest for us. No it's silent. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. Never, never, never. never. <laughs> so I got into voice acting. Perfect. Um, it, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> Natalie. Uh, I was bitten by a radioactive voice actor. <laughs> the Chris Sabat? Sabat? How do you get into voice acting? How do I get into voice acting? I've been doing stage and theater stuff since before I remember. Um, like literally when I was a baby, my parents volunteered me for a Christmas party. Yeah. What was your first role? I was Jesus. <laughs> look like me in film and theater and stuff like that. Uh, after an audition, we were like, it was pretty good, but the main character, the cast, are a family, and you don't look related to anyone else who auditioned. <laughs> is, it, is it the height? Is it because I'm short? I'm not sure. Uh, and then I realized, hey, the voice act doesn't matter what you look like. So I started chasing after that, and it's been pretty cool. <laughs> uh, next question is, do you have any roles that you are not proud of or that you didn't mention? No. <laughs> like no. I don't mention it. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to answer this one? You can move on one, to the next one. Question. Question. No. I have nothing. Nothing? Uh. <laughs> are you even sick uh, during the session? Ev too? Everything that I've done like five years ago. Mm -hmm. So no matter how much older I get, anything that's past the five-year mark, I'm just like, that's terrible. I should never do that again. <laughs> yeah, you're like cringe at like older work. I know I do. I'm like, oh god, why did I do that or read it like that? Or I'm just like, stop, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So like that, that kind of thing. Not as proud of, but like, oh, they just like, grow. Like, oh. In general, just in general. Girl, you're just like shame, shame on your YouTube. <laughs> uh, or if it's like someone's favorite show, I'd say that it's my least favorite because I'm terrible. Like people will be like, I love, I love your work in Soul Eater. I'm like, oh, that's the worst. <laughs> and then they cry and I feel really bad. Sorry. Uh, the first role I ever voiced for Funimation was this character. She only had like three lines, but the whole time through the session, I'm like, I kind of suck at this. This is good. This is a good start. Uh, when the DVD came out, they had replaced me with somebody else. Oh. Uh, which, praise the Lord, means that you never get to hear my sucky performance. Uh, so I am very ashamed of it. Like even while recording, I was like, "This is incredibly bad." Uh, but I assume a lot of people want to get into voice acting, or all you kids watching at home want to get into voice acting. Uh, voice replacement is actually super common. It's actually a big part of the industry. You will find you've been replaced or get hired to replace other people all the time. And it is something you have to be really chill about. So there's some advice, I guess. Yes. Sure. Uh, next question will be, can any of you sing or dance? <laughs> sing or dance well? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, I can sing. Sing. You can hear me sing in the dubs of Robotics Notes, Show by Rock, Level E. Uh, you can hear me sing in Gothic, but caveat, she's a very bad singer in context of the show. 
so I've had people actually contact me and be like, what were you doing? That was bad. I'm like, you know, it's the job. But if you want to get good singing, watch Show by Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Can I dance? Um, with arrows on a screen? Yes. <laughs> no. And no. I'm klutz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Real bad. Don't ask me to dance ever. Um, singing. No. 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 Pressure. No. Why don't you? You're awful. I see. I can do that. <laughs> Um, I like to sing, but I haven't sung in anything, and I'm not going to sing right now, don't I? Okay. Um, uh, sing, kinda. I mean, I started a band with uh, my buddies Howard and Rico. Uh, we're called Weeby, or Weeb, short for We Believe. Thanks, Natalie. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. We, we Believe. Yeah! <laughs> Um, so yeah, kinda. As for dance, I'm probably, like, I bring shame to my Hispanic heritage, because I don't. Um, but, uh, I, I dance by myself in my apartment when no one's there, because, uh, they don't need to see that shame. But next question! Uh, some of you do artwork. How long have you been an artist, and where does your inspiration come from? Yes, how long have you been an artist? Yeah. Um, I, well... When we say artist, like drawing, drawing okay. Painting. Uh, I've been doodling since middle school, cool. and I went to college for it, mm -hmm. and then I stopped. I still doodle from time to time. The only times I draw now, they're mainly cartoons, uh, and it's just for like Twitch mm -hmm. and like emotes or whatever. That totally counts. Yeah. That does so count. my favorite thing is colors. Coloring is my favorite thing. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I actually did used to draw a lot in um, high school, middle school, um, when I was growing up. And then I started acting and stuff, and I was to get back into it. Um, I used to take art classes and learn how to sketch and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah. We're a team. We're a team. A duo. A, yes, a duo. Uh, <laughs> this is our comic, Ties That Bind, available now. On Amazon. And in person. <laughs> <laughs> Available at our table for everyone here. Here's a fresh preview. Ooh, it's all colored! Ooh. Oh, go. Uh, I started drawing anime trash in middle school. <laughs> um, because I didn't like listening to lectures for some reason. I found it kind of boring, and so I started doing that, and then my teacher would take my drawings and then try to shame me in front of the class, and everyone's like, wait, he draws? <laughs> Can he draw me? And then it, it became a thing. Um, you do the coloring and the writing, so when did you start doing that? Um, I mean, I've been doing art for a while as well for very similar reasons. School's boring. I mean, it's interesting stay in school and study hard. Um, it is what I mean to say. Yes, we do. Give it to me. Cool, take it. Um, and at some point in time, I started developing the story that we're working on right now and designing all these characters. And then I met him and I was like, hey, you're really good at drawing. You want to draw this? And then I'll color it and that'll be cool. And then he said yes because he hadn't seen my designs yet and then he regretted it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Funny story about her designs. Uh, I, I did them because I wanted to challenge myself to create a fashion that looked like it came up in an alternate reality and it was very distinct and looked like they all belonged in the same world. And so one of the fashion rules I gave myself as a challenge was that there are no buttons on uh, anything. Which now he has to draw it. Which cosplayers have been really upset about that too. <laughs> Sorry. That's what hot glue's yeah, for. Yeah, so none of our characters have buttons. That's so cool though. No, yeah, they're not zippers either. That's so cool. They have fashion is in Which makes it very difficult to design. Yes, but to add new characters to the world, you have to maintain those same fashion rules because their technology hasn't invented buttons yet. That's cool. Is it? My tiny is. But either way, search for us online. If you type Micah Solicide into Amazon, this book is the first thing that comes up. All right. Yeah. Winner, winner. Give them your money. <laughs> uh, next question is, all four of you work
worked on Black Clover. Can you please tell us anything interesting about that experience? All three? It says all live. Off here, you can tell us about something even better. So, something interesting about Black Clover? I know three people who are in it, <laughs> and it's pretty cool. It also airs tonight on Tsunami, and you should all watch it. Uh, what was the question? Um, can you tell us anything interesting about the experience recording on Black Clover? Uh, yeah, um, recording for Black Clover was really cool because it's, it's the type of show that if I were a 10 year old and this was my first anime, this would be like the best thing in the world. It'd be your jam. Yeah, like this show is really cool. Um, I think it, if, it's very family friendly, which is nice. You know, anyone can watch it and there's a lot of action. The animation in it for the fight scenes are incredible, nice. definitely. And uh, voicing someone who's kind of just done with everything is kind of my jam, too. <laughs> I um, play Rev G in Black Clover, and <laughs> that character, yeah, yeah, he's not nice <laughs> at all. I, I bullied Dallas Reed. This is not the first time I have bullied Dallas Reed in an anime. No, this person. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually. Yeah, that's an <laughs> Okay, okay, third time, because the first time was I was not me. Exactly. <laughs> right, this is how we met. Um, yeah, no, it was really fun. I got to uh, play a really cool villain, um, and he had these crazy chain powers and stuff, and did lots of screaming, and I was like, this is fun. I don't know, I like playing villains. They're interesting. They always have weird characters. Got a good table. Aww. I'm not in Black Clover, but I am the ten-year-old. That is excited about Black Clover because <laughs> uh, I've watched the Uncommon. Like I, I love that show. It is really just shonen trash fan service just for me. And uh, you guys sound great. And uh, I can't wait for more because it just it's for me. It's for me. Yeah. Watch Black Clover tonight. Woo! Yes. Do it. Is it on? Eight, nine? Uh, no. <laughs> It's 11.30, maybe? Oh. If not 11? 10.30. 10.30, even better. You only on to now. Cool. This next question is very related to one of the shows that uh, Micah is in, but you can answer it in the sense of your own answer. No. If you could have any special ability from Mirrored Colors Phantom World or any other show you've worked on, what ability would you want? It can be a super ability, but like in Mirrored Colors, he can sketch right. and monsters yeah, or in monsters his notebook, appear. Um, um, rain and hails monsters. <laughs> so you're currently. Kind of superpowers. Yeah, what kind of superpower? Okay, you if want? it's any superpower, the power to manipulate time. Um, so you can sleep more. No. <laughs> uh, so I could fast forward in time. I could uh, slow it down. I could stop it. But the drawback is like the amount of time that I've used is taken away from my life. Oh, so, so yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, like, I thought about that power. Uh, <laughs> Not many people have limited themselves with their own. Yeah. Power. yeah. That's pretty fair, though. Yeah. Oh, um, that's that's it, it's kind of like play. Like I love that movie. Um, golly, I don't know. Um, characters that have superpowers that I have played. Um, <laughs> well, I, I like flying. I'm flying. Think of how much money you could plane tickets. I could save tickets. so much money and it just would be fun, but I'd get real cold and that would be the trade-off. I'd have to wear a huge jacket. Fun to wear, like Christmas. Like, <laughs> 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 it's a plane! It's Damon! It's <laughs> 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 a scarf. Why is there a meatball flying in there? It's kind of furry. It's not milk. It's not what things you prefer. Be great. Downside, you look like my knockout. Fly, but it's so cool. I love it. It's great. My, I would like my superpower to be Batman. Yes. I just yeah. want to be Batman. Filthy rich. Yeah. Filthy rich. I have a lot of money and, and strong and being a detective. All the weapons. Yeah. And a Batmobile. That's that's amazing. Nice car. Nice suits. Nice parties. Never have a bad meal in your life. Oh, that cave has a giant penny in there for some reason. Who knows? You never know. And the trade-off is no parents. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's been around since the 40s. It's not too soon. <laughs> Gotta find that downside. Um, the superpower I've always wanted is to imagine a food and then it's there. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, any food. And then I would do like a lot of humanitarian work with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I would also go home and be like, give me the takoyaki. What would be the first thing you had? The first food that I would ever imagine? Um, a very, very large platter of sushi. Yes. Yeah. Would you be able to make it fat free? <laughs> Now we're going rogue. What is your favorite character you have recorded thus far in your career? Favorite character recorded thus far? There are just so many. I know. Oh, I didn't, I didn't bring my cheat book. Um, or like the most memorable one. Most memorable one? Uh, I do like Hat Kid from A Hat in Time. It's such because, a good game. Uh, <laughs> He's not 10 year old. I am. Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying that. Uh, because normally when you're dubbing things, uh, you kind of have to listen to the Japanese and pattern your voice and what you do off of them. But for Hat in Time, I was actually allowed to develop the voice from scratch myself, like with the team. They were like, we don't know what we wanted to sound like. So sort of spitball some ideas, pitch some things. And at the time, Mike was playing a lot of uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And so awesome. there's this little link running around making noises. And so I was like, oh yeah, I'll sound like him, except the girl with a much bigger hat. <laughs> yeah, like they both have hats, but hers is just larger. Uh, yeah, but I like that because I could sort of develop my own stuff. And she's super cute. She runs around and she breaks stuff and yells, Down with the Mafia! <laughs> <laughs> Coming out on Xbox and PlayStation. Uh, nope. I'm getting it again on the Xbox. Yeah, it's out on Steam right now for you PC gamers. But it, That's it, me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm but it's it getting console releases as well. Um, my favorite character is from a show called Blood Blockade Battlefront. <laughs> Um, it's by the creator of Trigun, and uh, I got to voice a character named Black, and he was really cool because he, he's this really nice, shy kid, but he's also possessed by a demon, so I got to voice like two characters in one, and he ended up being the main antagonist, so that was a lot of fun too. I recently recorded with him. I played at... It's, it's so cool, I really want to like marathon it because I did not know how amazing she yeah, so was. <laughs> I was like, what? It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, my favorite character, I would say uh, Junko from Nautica. I spent six months working on that character every week, multiple times a week, and put my heart into that role. Um, we were, we're very passionate behind the creative process of the project, um, and we all were just super big fans of it. Me and uh, Alejandro and Marissa and Aaron Disney and everybody, it was just great. And I want more. Uh, same as Damon, but for me it's Uno. Uh, but honestly, I think uh, my favorite is probably uh, either Tamatsu or Junichi. But Tamatsu, Denki guy from Akiba's Trip, uh, the animation I loved because it was just reference after reference and uh, it was my first lead as well but I think my favorite thing about it was I got to just be crazy in the most wildest way and I remember my favorite episode of it was episode 9 because I just got to do a dang green impression and it was just a Yu-Gi-Oh episode it was fantastic and then they broke the wall and it's like they broke the immersion and they're just playing on this little cardboard box and it's like hey guys i'm trying to concentrate okay <laughs> and then they go back to like it's time to duel and i'm like it's just the closest i can to you yeah <laughs> i love those moments though yeah, yeah it's fantastic uh if you could be any animal in the world what animal would you be i'm a dog why? yes i'm a dog because not only is it my uh Zodiac sign, um, like Chinese zodiac sign, but I just am. <laughs> Very loyal. Yeah. yeah, I'd want to be a corgi. I just want a corgi. Oh, this should be a corgi. I just, if you find a corgi that needs a home, let me know. Oh, I'll take him home. Um, I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm a cat. I like cats. I love cats are so soft. I can't think of any other animal. They just sleep all the time, and yes. cuddle, and it's just yeah. great. They're just great. Right. <laughs> uh, I would be a panda. Because they're lazy, and they're troublemakers. Yeah. They there are. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to continue. Actually, you said corgi. I voiced a corgi in a show this season. Yes. Uh, and you would realize 
who just barks a lot. But the best part about it is I have to keep looking up corgi videos to study what they sound like, so I'm watching this for work, okay? <laughs> I am watching corgi videos for work. I need to research too, could you send me some? Yeah, <laughs> you super one, right? important yeah. that I do this for my job. We're adults, by the way, just so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say koala, again, because they sleep and eat, and that's about all they do. But also, like, when they get upset, they will wreck you. <laughs> and apparently, there's this running gag in Australia where they try to convince everyone not in Australia that koalas are, like, these monster drop bear things that will just ruin your life. And so, I like to think that if I were a koala, all of Australia would find me super cool. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Uh, next question. You're a new addition to the crown box. What color would you be? And <laughs> why? A new color? A new color. A new color. Uh, I would just be red. <laughs> I'd be blue, like very faint and non-committal. Like you really gotta try to get that blue out of it. <laughs> I'd be like a specific shade of gray that's called a uh, drop bear will mess you up. <laughs> Um, and you can only use it to color koalas, and if you use it on anything else, a koala will come and mess you up. <laughs> like, here's a look, here's a look, this is pink. That's pretty cute. Probably a pale, fleshy color. <laughs> <laughs> like a vampire color? Yeah! yeah. Wait, you see, vampire, vampire pale, pale person. person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Person who doesn't see the sun for months and months and months Last and months. Last vitamin D. What would you be called? Something with vampire. 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 Fleshy, fleshy vampire. Vitamin D. You stole my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, you can it was no. Here's down. the thing. Mine is going to be needs vitamin D white. <laughs> <laughs> so that's mine. It's a shade of white. There you yeah, go. that's my shade. I need it. It's it's like a pasty greenish white. You're red at least. I'm green. <laughs> <laughs> I think Michael wins that. <laughs> um, what was the next one? Ah, what do you, What is your favorite thing to do in your free time? Like, what's a guilty pleasure you like doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. Yeah. Sleeping. Other than that, uh, just... who likes sleeping? Raise your hand. Uh, honestly, just play into drawing. What kind of video games? Platformers. My, fa my favorite game of all time is Psychonauts. If you oh, not played like Psychonauts, yeah. it is literally just about this carny kid who runs away from the carnival to go to psychic camp, and then you dive into the minds of people and find out their secrets and how they That's work. Awesome. Yeah, I love it. Um, PlayStation. Yeah, I like play, playing video games too when I have time. My favorite game? Well, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah! I've played a lot of time on my own fighting like three level nine computers because I have a problem. <laughs> Did you go to care? Mewtwo. 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 I love Mewtwo. It's great. Um, other than that, I really like playing Bayonetta in the new one. She's pretty great. She's really fast. I also like Cloud Strike. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I like to do music. I like to make like electronic music in my spare time. I'll like s set a timer and be like, all right, half an hour, come up with something now. Like challenging myself to do that is a good like brain exercise for me and calms me down for some reason. So yeah. I read a lot. I guess that's a boring answer. Um, I also like to make. Yeah, I read a lot. Buy all of these books, guys. They're all great. Uh, all every books, especially this one at our table. You can get right here after this. <laughs> I still like candy. Um, I also like to make visual novels, yeah. uh, which is a thing I probably didn't mention at the front. And I run a small group called Sake Visual. We've released several games, including Murder Mystery Series Jise, uh, an Otome Deji Sim called Backstage Pass. And we're working on a couple other things right now. Follow me on Twitter, <laughs> so I'm coding, and you can see me talk about it even more. So yeah, in my spare time is sort of hobby dev, visual novels, and I read stuff. Beautiful. What is your favorite pizza topping? Pizza, pizza. pizza topping. Oh, the cheese. Yes. But how much cheese? 
Too much cheese? Well, what kind of cheese? Like, I like different cheeses. Like, the mozzarella is cool, but I also like some feta on there, just yeah. for like, a little bit yeah. of different texture and flavor. That's good. Um, put, like, some Asiago on the crust to get, like, another texture in there, especially when it gets nice and crispy. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, you know, the cheese. Cheese. Best answer. Uh, I'm a hipster and I like those pizzas that have like prosciutto and like a fig jam and oh, goat cheese. Good. Those are really good on a thin crust. Don't get me started on food. There's so much food over here that's surrounding us. I, I'm surprised I'm here right now. <laughs> My stomach hurts now. Yeah. I'm really upset. Um, I love pizza, guys. I just I love any kinds of toppings. I'll I'll be that weird one who eats pineapple on pizza. I don't care. I'll yeah. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. I'll stay by your side. I'm the meat. Oh, cheese stuff crust. That's my favorite. That's that's a good topping. Um, it's a good topping. Thin crust for me. Um, man, I don't know. I just like like pesto cheese. I know it's weird. Pesto? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I just love pesto. Like it's pesto in with the cheese. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, we already asked what we are going to as we're in Smash, but I'm curious about. Who do you mean in Smash? Who do you mean in Smash? Yeah. Yeah. This goes to you guys. Do you guys play Smash? Yeah. yeah. All right. What do you mean? Boom. Boom. I don't. I don't play Smash enough, but when I do, <laughs> it's between Ike and Sonic. Oh, just because I'm not good at the game in oh, any Smash. capacity, <laughs> but it's just to taunt and say you're Come too on, slow. Step it up. Come on, step it up! It's <laughs> great. Uh, I'm weird. I also play Smash. Um, I. I mean as Villager from Animal Crossing, because <laughs> he's such a troll. I love, I love getting the bowling ball out and be like, no, come closer. <laughs> um, I also, uh, we're playing like, what was it, like 100 Man Smash or whatever, I play as Pikachu because he's easy to use. With the hat. Uh, there are a couple. Normally, especially if I'm playing with a group, we're doing 100 Man Smash together. I mean Lucina. Ooh, nice. But uh, we've, we've started doing this thing we play called Punishment Smash. <laughs> where anytime you fall out, you have to eat an exceptionally spicy Dorito. Like, they're not Doritos. They're, they're these, they have these Korean spicy chips that are just, they will murder you in your sleep. Uh, and anytime you fall off, you have to take one, and you can only drink a sip of milk if you KO somebody else. Uh, so I switched my main to Zero Suit Samus because it's so much easier to save. Like once the scene is off, you're just, you're done. It's there she goes. There she goes. She um, just roll, 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 gone. Yeah, it's so. Better recovery than roll back. This is true. This is true. But uh, I Zero Suit Samus now because I can recover better. And that's why I use Villager. He has the balloon hat. So I don't really. I love the honesty. I so badly that I have. So you should do this. So join us for punishment. It's now gonna be an internet thing. <laughs> uh, do you, did any of you download the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp? Pocket Camp? Yeah. Um, what levels are you on? It's okay, don't be ashamed. First off, I haven't spent any money on Pocket Camp. Don't give Tom Nick your money. I feel like I need everyone to know this. I'm level 33. That's beautiful. Wow. Wow. I'm 19. Me, I'm 18, it's okay. Hey. <laughs> Shame I feel right now. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking that. I downloaded it. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. Here's the thing. I downloaded it day one. <laughs> Haven't opened it. <laughs> it's a great thing. That's commitment. I know, I know. I'm amazing. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's see. What is your favorite television show? It can be on or off television right now. Oh. You can have watched it way back when um, or recently. Probably Young Justice. Oh, that one is good. Good. I am waiting for the third season, and I really hope Jason Todd is in it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could. He could. Especially with the name that the third season has. Yeah. The Outsiders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just... Poor Jason. Poor Jason. I want him back, though. Yes. I want him as the Red Hood. I can't help it. I love Jason Todd. It's my okay. favorite Robin. Has everyone seen the, the Batman Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Yes! Fun fact, it's animated by the people who make the openings for JoJo. Oh. That's why it looks so good! Yeah, I know. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the Apple Samurai Yeah, it's so good! Yeah, I, when I saw that, I was like, oh. <laughs> I can't wait. Did you see the Red Rock? Red Rock? Like, is the Red Hood? Yeah, it looks No. That's not nice. Yeah, look it up, look it up. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna take an intermission. Uh, I will. Gotham by Gaslight yet? Have you seen that it's coming out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're getting Gotham by Gaslight. Gotham by Gaslight movies. Um, favorite? Oh gosh. So hard. Um, well, right now I just started The Punisher. Ooh, that one looks good. Hurts me to watch. Does it punish you because it's so punishing? It's a lot of blood. There's so much blood. Nothing wrong, boy. Oh, only. No. <laughs> There's the uh, blood. I really like Breaking Bad. That's a really good one. Uh, These are some dark shows. I like dark shows. They're great. They make me feel. It's true. Dark feels. <laughs> the darkness is crawling through me. Close the curtains. Just, you know, Please didn't say spawn. Sorry. Uh, those are good titles. Good titles. Um, happy show. I don't know. You. You. Uh, favorite show. I like cooking shows. Iron like, Chef. I'm I'm a big fan of Good Eats, Alton Brown. My Alton's good. Um, Cutthroat Kitchen is also a lot of fun. Um, I, we've been watching this thing on Netflix called The Chef in My Fridge. It's this Korean cooking show where they find two celebrities and they take their refrigerator from home, and then the chefs, celebrity chefs, have to make meals with whatever is inside of their refrigerator. Oh, no, you would have to go grocery shopping. And it, it, yeah, and some of the stuff's like rotten in the fridge too. Yeah. It's amazing. Like they shame the celebrities because it's like, so did you have a girl? Is there a girl? Like why do you have this in your refrigerator? Who, who made this? It wasn't your mom. Um, and then they make a really cool dish out of it. So that's pretty cool. Funny. I'll watch that tonight. That sounds funny. Um, I'm part of everyone who likes the Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. uh, all of Stranger Things. I'm uh, looking forward to Stever Things, the Stevening. Yeah. Um, I like most like procedurals, so I was really into Castle while it was on the air. Um, really like Elementary. Uh, Death in Paradise, which is like this British-French co-production, which is really super good. And you can see it on Netflix, is also a good one. Oh. Um, Yes. Excellent. Now pass it back to the back. Has anybody seen BBC Sherlock? Yeah. It's so good. I mean, Cumberbatch is amazing. It's so good. Uh, I'm sitcom trash. I like How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> I own the complete series. <laughs> Dairy. Legendary. Yes. Go oh, sing it? Sing it. No. no. I'll play it, but I won't sing it. Mine's a set. That's all you're getting. Anyway, go. next question. All right. Hi. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everywhere? Yeah. You'd want to be have clones and just live everywhere? No, I wish I had instant transmission just literally teleport everywhere. That would be awesome. Exactly. That would be cool. We're all renowned oh living gosh, everywhere. I don't know. That's hard. I really do want to go to England though. Maybe just to visit, nice. but that's like a, that's a really big part of this whole thing. So maybe that. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go? <laughs> oh, that's I disgusting. <laughs> um, we're married, by the way. So <laughs> Sorry, context. Sorry, context. Oh, yeah. Um, Never guys can say. Terrible. Uh, yeah, 
Asia. Yeah. Some Asia would be cool. Somewhere in Asia. Um, I don't know. A long time ago, I worked on this fantasy story that's never been published. Uh, but one of the things in it was this flying island that sort of kept pace with the planet it was flying on, so it was always sunset. Oh, nice. I'd live yeah. there. I want to live there. I love sunsets. I live there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Somewhere tropical and with good food. That would oh, be great. Yeah. Hey! There you go. What is what is your favorite fruit? <laughs> grapes. I just like grapes. You stole my answer this time. Ah, sucker. That but there are many grapes. Also like bananas. <laughs> uh, blueberries, cause antioxidants, no cancer, is great. Yeah. Avocados. It's beautiful. I'm allergic, but I still eat them. Send me! You're allergic? Just a little bit. Just a little bit allergic. That hurts my heart. I can get three guac servings in before, before you feel the pain. Yeah. Before it starts You're becoming like, a problem. Oh, no. <laughs> Something's smelling not good. So yeah. Um, When you were a child, what did you want to be when you were taller? Me too! <laughs> that was my dream. It never came true. I found a drawing of like what I did from like my future self, what I wanted it to be, like a list of things that I did. I used it like from middle school or something like that. <laughs> and it said under height that I was gonna be like five nine. <laughs> and I'm like, way to just have low standards. <laughs> It's not even tall, and you didn't even reach that. I just felt like doubly depressed. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a, either a chef or a, a comic artist. So yeah, well, one of them. Well, you do, you do make food though. I'm not, a, I'm not a chef. I'm not a professional. I'm a cook. I'm not a chef. I just admire your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What did I make? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, what did I want to be when I grew up an adult? <laughs> Why? Why? This is the worst. No, I know. Um, I used to want to be... I'm interviewing you. I'm taking the cab. You need to have the mic present. Um, a psychiatrist for a little while, actually, when I was in school. And then I realized too much schooling, and I... You can hear out of my ear. From my... It, it, Ear, 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 nose, and throat. Yeah, you can hear everything. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I remember I told my mom, uh, I'm like, I want to be a lawyer because they make a lot of money. And then, and then she's like, but then you have to do a lot of reading, sweetie. And I'm like, never mind. Never mind. Ironically enough, <laughs> that's what we do. You know, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ironically, I didn't want to be an actor. I told myself I would not be an actor, and I would not move to Texas for it. <laughs> my, my, uh, my cousin was like, you're, you're, like, I used to be very animated as a child. Like, she pushed me and be like, ah! And she's like, you're such an overreactor. Um, and so I was like, I, I, you're always teasing me about this. And she's like, one day I'm going to see you on the TV like this. <laughs> and I told her, I'm never going to be an actor, I'm never going to prove you right. <laughs> so to my cousin, watching this video, damn you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad an animator. Hey. It kind of happened. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Uh, what is the funniest that's happened to you recently? This kind of so, <laughs> I have some pictures. Uh -oh. <laughs> So my mom, bless her heart, she uh, woke me up at like 8 in the morning when I was uh, home for Thanksgiving. She dressed me, my brother, and my sister. She told us that, it's like, hey, I got you matching outfits. Uh, we're going to take Christmas pictures, and we're going to be elves. I'm going to tie up you and your brother with uh, Christmas lights, and your sister is going to be behind you laughing. So, my brother put on an elf hat, and I put on this hat, and I'm like, I'm gonna be trucker elf. 
So, uh, you guys can't see this, I'll pass it around in a second, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, that's the funniest thing that's happened recently. I love it. Um, funniest thing that, oh, my life's sad. It's on Twitter. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Animal, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I just work a lot. That's all that's my saddest thing in my life. Oh, cats are fun. Cats are fun. That is awesome. <laughs> it's a gift, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Merry Christmas! Oh, wow. That. That. That is probably the funniest. Yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah, quality right there. Um, I mean, not a lot of funny things happen to me. Just like bizarre things. Okay, is that when you're playing pocket camp? Yeah. All right. Uh, so Mike is super mad at me for this one. But my luck is the best worst luck. I have almost all rare items and nothing else. Which, you know, it's like, oh great, rare items are the best. But anytime I want like an effing squid, like every animal in this thing is like, I want five squid. I'm like, I'll go get you some squid. It's all red snapper. I have, like you see guys on but the animals want squid. I show up and they're like, you don't have what I want. I'm like, but there's something the better. Want squid for me, and I'm like, tuna, cool, tuna, cool, tuna, cool. <laughs> and I don't know, it's like, it's not even that funny. It's just really sad because I have just a pile of tuna, and I don't know what to do with it because no one's asking me for tuna. Yeah. And everyone else in the world, like, I have five million squid. Why don't you? I'm like, I don't know. You know that one person who's like, my life's so tough. All these good things happen and nothing bad ever happens. <laughs> First it's world not. problems. Oh, tuna. So if anyone wants tuna, I'm selling them cheap. <laughs> I feel like Pocket Cap is testing our religion. Play Mario Party. Hey! Play Punishment Smash. Come play Punishment Smash with us. I think I'll die. <laughs> Um, we only have a few minutes left. Do you have any, uh... Oh, do you want to do a lightning round? Yeah, we can do sure. lightning round. Lightning round! Uh, does anyone in the audience have a lightning round question? Cool, yeah. so... Okay. so a lightning round is basically where you ask questions that can answer super quick, like, in one word or less. Uh, put your hand up if you have a super cool lightning round question. It can be anything from, like, what's your favorite color to for unicorns or pegasi. You know, who's your favorite doctor? Whatever. Uh, as off the wall and weird and out there as you want, uh, we will answer as quickly as possible. It will not be the truth. It will just be the first thing that comes to our mind. Well, that's beautiful. Uh, we also tend to scream and panic a lot, so don't take it personally when we yell at you. <laughs> uh, essentially, if you have a question, just throw your hand up there. If you have another question, throw it up again afterwards. As soon as we have questions or when Natalie tells us to stop, that's when the panel is over. Cool. Okay. We're going to start right here. Favorite president. Favorite president. Probably. Uh, I believe the fifth. <laughs> okay, next. Right. Favorite Pokemon. Favorite Pokemon. Bulbasaur. Jolteon. Good taste. Lava Fat. Lava. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I said Jolteon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Wind Waker or Ocarina of Time? Wind Waker. Ooh, what? Ocarina of Time. The right one, Wind Waker. Wind of the Wild. There you go. Break the mold. Tuna or squid? I got so many tuna, bro. Stop complaining. I'm level six. I downloaded it. I'm here. I'm here. Favorite color? Uh, blue and orange. Complimentary. Purple. Royal blue. Oh, that new crayon one that's like flesh colored but really pale. <laughs> 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 Least favorite food. Least favorite food. Um, ones that I can't eat. Carrots. I don't like eggs. Those chicks did nothing wrong. Um, uh, please sit. <laughs> Drink water. <laughs> Coffee. Mocha. Tea. Everyone go buy stuff from the PC. Yeah, they're the best. It's really good. Really good. Yes. Go to karaoke song. Go to karaoke song. Uh, I'm all the world, but I do both parts. Beautiful. <laughs> Same. Don't stop believing. Beautiful. What was the question? Uh, favorite karaoke song. 
Ah! Uh, <laughs> Zach's like Zach's Lament or Oogie Boogie, That's and mine great. is uh, We Are Fighting Dreamers. <laughs> we are fighting dreamers. Uh, yes. Anime or manga? Bo. Bo. Uh, well, you see, they're both individual and very specific videos, and if you like a reading, then you should probably, uh... Oh,